Good morning, YouTube. Guess what? We're back from vacation, and what a glorious day. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Heidi and I got the veg out uh, for a couple days because we made that drive really fast, you know, getting back here, uh, which we didn't do in any kind of record time, especially with that delay. Uh, it was so, so saddening <laughs> to find out that I did not have that footage of that car hitting those big pieces of tread because it was awesome. It was just an awesome sight for me. I mean, for them, it's just a nightmare, but it was so cool to see, you know, them run that over and immediately see like all the contents of their radiator just spread all over the road. And it's, it was just to see it, it was awesome. Uh, to experience it. I'm sure, like I said, it was a nightmare and I feel really bad for them. Uh, the good news is the truck pulled over that caused the problem and it looked like that he was, you know, going to cooperate. So that helps with insurance. But yeah, five cars were taken out by that tire. The other thing that we saw, a car that at the last minute decided that they wanted to continue on the road and not go onto the exit that they were currently pointed at and they ran over those reflector strips. Oh my word. That was great. They just kept on going like, oh, well. <laughs> I mean, they didn't even pull over or slow down or nothing. They were like full 55 miles an hour when they ran over those things or blasted through them. Um, it's just funny to see that stuff. So uh, back at the house, it's very warm weather. We had uh, pretty decent rain that had come through. Uh, you know, that's why I was mowing the yard at night. Uh, the yard looks horrible. We got to do a lot of string trimming in that. Uh, but we are getting ready for an RV trip. It's not going to be this week that I'm filming currently. I don't know if, when I'm going to post this, but it's going to be the following week. The reason I'm outside right now, uh, I've got a, the part three of the uh, trip, the, the last part of our trip, which is a short video. Sorry about that really long one, but the short video, uh, this last part is, it's right now producing and I'm going to be uploading it. So I thought I'd get our mail. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but when you're on vacation, if you have a home and you want uh, the post office to hold your mail, USPS, um, you can get online and you can have them hold your mail. It doesn't cost anything. And then you can have them deliver it or you can go pick it up, uh, one or the other. Again, all online, you can do this. Uh, so we had them hold their mail for the week. And when I went out to the mail, I got a notification and it's requiring me to get on top of the RV. I don't have to, but I want to. Let me tell you what the notification is. Tech service bulletin from Forest River. Uh, basically, it's got my VIN number. It's got our name on here, which is funny. It just has my name on it. I don't know why that is. Uh, Dear Forest River customer, Forest River is alerting you to an issue involving certain 2019 through 2020. And basically, it's a lot of models. I'll say them real fast here. Catalina, Cherokee, Wolfpack, Vengeance, Arctic Wolf, Puma, Rockwood, Flagstaff, Sierra, Sandpiper, XLR, XLR Boost, Ozark, Salem, Wildwood, Primetime, Impression, Lacrosse, PTX, Tracer, Wildcat, Crusader, Sanibel, Wildcat, Navi, and Avenger Travel Trailers and Fifth Wheel Recreational Vehicles manufactured between December 1st, 2018 through May 1st, 2019. Well, ours was in March. Uh, it, it got assembled in March. Please see the information. What's the issue? A limited number of outer dome skylights have displayed cracks soon after installation. Cracks may originate at the flange of the skylight and extend outward. The cracks may lead to water infiltration uh, of the vehicle if it's left unchecked. And then it's dealers, what you should do, dealers take pictures, all that stuff. So let's go on the roof and pick this up. I'm going to take a look at the the flange and see if it's cracked up on the roof glad I have a ladder and what they're talking about is this the edges basically when they secured it they say it could be cracked and I'm looking here and I don't see any cracks at all I'm looking really close too I let's see here yeah they're there don't seem to be any cracks. There's a bunch of plastic circles here that are part of the process uh, as far as molding it, but I don't see any cracks. Looks pretty good, actually. One thing that you can tell by looking down in here, though, 
is the foam. Uh, you can see how thick the foam is even on the edges there. It's pretty, pretty awesome. <laughs> they do a really good job, I'll tell you. Um, I still think that it would have been nice to have some sort of uh, reflective foil uh, put down on there in the barrier, but yeah, I don't see any cracks at all as far as the skylight's concerned. Um, it's a little bit dirty on the inside. I'm sure I could clean that out by dropping uh, the inner piece. It's not much to do. But yeah, it looks good up here. Everything looks really good. Uh, probably could go for a good cleaning up here, that's for sure. But yeah, I, I've been really happy with uh, everything so far. The awning, I definitely need to tighten it up. You can see it needs some scrubbing now because of um, the way the water sits in there when it rains. So, Heidi, come home. There she is. Look at her, sitting in all her glory. <laughs> and I forgot uh, to do something, and somebody called us out on it. So I'm going out right now, and that's our CB antenna. As you guys know, the truck's aluminum. All my antennas were set up for... Uh, magnetic they had you know a magnetic base uh, and I had to find a way to mount it all right look at the gap that I have right there in between there so for everybody it says oh you should get that third mount for the brake light no 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 yeah it won't work it's too close plus I have to take off the whole damn cap or at least slide it back quite a ways uh, just to even access the screws that go to that third brake light which I think I talked about that before. So this is what it looks like from the outside. <clears throat> I don't have to have this part on here and I don't have to have this part on here, but I like having it on there uh, just for protection. And the deal is, is uh, this piece here is grounded to the bracket. This is a stainless steel bracket. Uh, and then this piece here, it's a quick disconnect. It's just a a twist on for the antenna so the antenna goes on and it twists and I have a four foot fire stick it's in the back of the truck I'm not gonna dig that out uh, it's just too much pain in the butt let me show you what it looks like though uh, underneath the hood so you can see the cable basically goes back I've got it set up to where it kind of drips down instead of run along the cable then I have it secured here so there's not a lot of rubbing going on I have it secured here and then I have it going through a rubber boot that's down in there. I know you're not going to be able to see that, but uh, the reason I chose this one is it's um, got two bolts. Uh, that They give you stainless bolts and washers, but I just reused the factory ones. Uh, and that it holds it down in two points instead of just one. Even with that said, and this being thick, I mean, this is not thin. You can see it still moves quite a bit, uh, but it moves the whole fender uh, because it's up against the fender. Again, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to show you here, but they put 3M adhesive inside there just for a buffer, just as a cushion. And then they put some on this side too, just in case it decides it wants to touch the hood. It doesn't scratch the paint. But again, I mean, you can see it still moves uh, quite a bit, even with that thick metal that uh, it's made with. But it does a good job. Um, I have a S... I don't know what it's called, S SWM, <laughs> something like that, uh, meter that I use uh, for tuning the antenna. And that antenna that I have has a tunable tip. Uh, so you just pull off the cover and you, you basically turn the screw, you, you undo a lock washer first, then turn the screw. You measure your, you know, use the meter inside to measure your output and all that stuff. And I don't know the details, I just follow the instructions and I get a good signal. But yeah. Uh, this was my uh, option. Now, I can tell you that that four-foot antenna, I don't know, it's a little big. I don't, I don't know if I like it. Um, it just, I mean, it's a little bit taller than the factory antenna, which I don't know if you can see there. I'll try to catch it up against something that maybe you can see. Let's, uh, let's do this. <laughs> let's see if we can get you up against it. There you go. <laughs> so you can see where the antenna stops well this one whenever it's on it, it's a little bit taller than that and it does move around a lot and again uh, I mean I I don't think it's hurting anything but it is when I'm driving down the road I can see it moving around so take that for what it's worth but this is one of the best mounts that I found and it did the job now of course like this here it, 
you know, that's the best part of that quick disconnect. When you're not using it, get rid of it. Uh, just put it on when you need it, and you don't have to worry about that so much. But, you know, all that mileage that we just drove uh, for that whole trip, um, I've seen this thing for quite a few miles just moving. I I'm sure I could get a smaller antenna. But I like the uh, reception of the antenna that I have. It's one of the best. Uh, again, it's a fire stick. It's four foot and it's an FS series. That's as a Foxtrot Sierra FS series. Just look it up. You'll see what I mean. I think it gets good reviews. But this was real easy to mount and put together and I'm really happy with it. And the nice thing was I had this off and I went through the car wash. I asked the guy, I said, do I have to worry about anything in the car wash? And it was brushes. He said, no, he says, but we have to take that antenna off. <laughs> and it has something to do with the way that it's mounted. I, I don't know what the deal is, but he said, if it's like the F-150s and it's outside the plastic, and I guess that's what he's he's talking about, this is being the plastic here, which it all feels like more rubber. Um, he said to he had to remove it. So they did. They They took it off, and then we put it back on. This thing is filthy, though. Look at it. Look at the bugs and crap all over this thing. It's just, ugh. Definitely need to get done and uh, or washed. And the nice thing is, uh, as far as the top goes, we'll go ahead and switch you around here. That little antenna did a good job. It stayed put. Uh, even through the car wash, we forgot to take it down. <laughs> oh, incredible. Well. I mowed the grass when it was dark out, and it already needs mowed again. Um, I'm going to give it a couple of days, though. We don't have rain in the forecast, and I don't want it to get burned out because we do have some spots like that over there. There's a, a spot. Heidi says it's brown. I'm colorblind. I can just see it's lighter. And then in the front yard, even, we have some brown spots. This all needs string trimmed before I mow. Maybe I can wait until Thursday to do this. Good morning, YouTube. Yeah, I'm out in the uh, RV. We left it off where we left it off. Heidi and I is going to probably sit down a little bit later and talk. But the reason we're out in the RV, uh, something we're going to talk about, is we're going to be uh, doing a trip. Yeah, we're going to we're going to be doing a trip here. So at some point, you'll see that you'll uh, you'll see it not on this video, but you know when we actually make the trip, we'll make a trip video, <laughs> and it's more of an RV trip. It's, it's not like that last vacation thing. So for you guys that do the same thing I do, uh, if it's not RV related and I'm subscribing to an RV channel, I usually don't watch it. I, it's just not my thing. I, um, but I thought, you know, vacation, we'd bring you along and, you know, we did go through the RV parks. So hopefully you didn't, uh, you didn't miss out on that. But this next trip is definitely an RV trip and it's something that we've done in the past, but in a different location. So uh, one thing I wanted to show you though in the RV is I had the vent open and a couple of the windows and we're starting to get into, how, okay, how do you pronounce it? Autumnal? Autumnal? Yeah, I think that's it. Weather. <laughs> Basically, autumn-like weather. And man, it's, uh, the dew points have dropped and it's chilly. I'm, I'm in shorts and t-shirt today and maybe I should have had a jacket on or something. 58 degrees inside here that is odd because just yesterday no day before yesterday it was 85 degrees in here so the numbers were reversed uh, i'm looking for i came out here because i'm looking for a, a camera mount um that i'd like to use not that one back there um but i can't find it and the last place i remember having it was out here and it was a video that we did it was a, a live chat and for you guys that got to see that live chat live, good for you, because I pulled it down because I had drank too much and I kind of slurred my words a little bit and I was rambling. Yeah, it was kind of funny. Heidi said, I don't think you should be posting that. <laughs> so <laughs> I pulled it down at her request. Um, it's out here somewhere. I, I just don't know where. Yeah, I, well, maybe it's not out here. Okay. I'll have to listen to what Heidi said. Heidi said she'd come out here and looked. All right, let's uh, get back in the house, see what's going on uh, as far as the day starts. Heidi's up at Walmart doing some shopping for our son uh, because he needs to get some more pants for uh, 
the trip. Uh, definitely today we're going to have to knock out some of this stuff, meaning uh, all the uh, string trimming. Um, it's gotten really bad. Ooh, yeah, the mail lady already went. Cool. But yeah, the, and then I got to mow. Good thing is we got a lot of dry days in a row here. We don't have any rain in the forecast. You can kind of see the skies. I know that you guys live in the south that don't necessarily care for the heat 100%. Um, yeah, it's it's a pleasant day for you type of people that like that, you know, 70 degree weather, real low dew points, cool breeze. Um, that's not me. Uh, definitely not me. Oh, looky, looky. Got Heidi doing all the string trimming. <laughs> uh, basically, after she's done string trimming, I'm going to mow the lawn, which obviously it needs. It's kind of funny. Uh, as I was kidding around, I told Heidi, I said, can you believe that I mowed the yard, double mowed it before we left, and then we went on vacation to Myrtle Beach for a week, and we came back, and I mowed the yard again that night. You guys seen that? And these guys still haven't mowed their yard. <laughs> and I'm going to mow it mine again, and they still haven't mowed their yard. Again, you know, we we're, nobody's in competition out here or anything like that. I just like having our grass mowed. I, I like it when it's a little bit more uniform. To each their own. It's not like we live in the city. All right, so Miss Lynn uh, got me doing another project. Look how hard That's I'm working. Idea. Look how hard I am working at her idea. <laughs> I was mowing the lawn and I thought, well, I got to pressure wash the garage, which I forgot to do. Or I didn't forget to do it. It's just we decided we were going to pressure wash the, the garage and then the doors and then paint the doors. And then I told her, I said, why don't we just paint the doors? Because if not, we got to wait for them to dry. And she said, yeah, that's a good idea. Well, I'm not going to be able to pressure wash the garage until the doors are dry. So. Yeah, for days. That, that kind of sucks. But we have dry weather for days in a row. So this is perfect. Uh, the doors, if you look here, apparently somebody pulled these door stops off at some point. It was her grandfather. And her grandfather passed away when our son, who's 20, how old is he going to be now? 23. Yeah, he's going to be 23. And he was only two months old whenever he passed away. So... They haven't been done for at least 20 years. Um, I was trying to show you in here. I don't think we're going to be able to see it because I've got a mess in here. I haven't cleaned the garage. I haven't swept it out. You can see how dirty it is. Um, let's see if we can get this cleaned off though, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I don't know if you could tell, but it says 1963. That's whenever the doors and the garage were built and put together. And these are the original doors. They've never been replaced. And we have not ever painted them or stained them or anything. And her grandfather um, was the last one to do it. And I would assume that he probably did that maybe in the 80s. Yeah, so it's been a long time. And uh, I want them to be white because we have a hard time uh, at night looking out to see you know, if we look out one of these windows up in the house, uh, we have a hard time seeing if the doors are open or closed because they're dark. And if this light isn't on up here, which a lot of time it's not on, uh, nothing's illuminated down here. So I told her, I said, I'd really like them to be white. So where did we get this white? Ah. <laughs> I don't even remember. I was trying to think. There's an awful lot of it left is the reason why I'm like, I don't know. I think that the white may have come from our uh, StarCraft pop-up camper. Oh, well, good guess. Yeah, so that's been a little while. It's our telling. Hell, I could think have... he should, Michael should grab a, uh, the paintbrush and paint the damn corners. Yeah, I could paint the corners and that'd be awesome, but instead I thought I'd hold the camera. Well, you're not gonna be doing that the whole time. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing that the whole time. If they only made some sort of a stand or something that would hold a camera, you know. It, it, I, I mean, like if it, even if it just had three legs on it, I mean, I would call I would call it a, a tripod. I mean, that would make sense because it has three legs. Okay, so I guess I'm not going to be able to pressure wash. I might be able to pressure wash the house, but that's yet to be seen. I, I need to help her paint, though. 
this is what we're doing. We're trying to get the house relatively ready, nice. look a little bit nicer for uh, the next people that decide they want to live here because we want to live there. Other than the fact that I need to still pressure wash the vinyl siding on the garage, uh, the doors came out good. We got some splatter on the windows. We got to wait till it dries and we'll scrape that off. I don't think that'll be a big deal. But man, what a difference. We should have done that years ago. Hope those doors appreciate it. In the meantime, uh, traffic has been backed up here for quite some time. But just down the hill a little ways, or up the road, just a very little ways, there's always bad accidents at this one intersection. We usually have about, uh, we probably average two a year. I mean, now I'll have to say we average one a year. Uh, some, some years we have two, and then maybe one year we don't have any. So the road's blocked off down here, and... Um, Heidi's cousin is a dispatcher uh, and she said it's really bad so the uh, fire department that's here is from another location and they've got two highway patrol down there and looks like there's a pole across the road or no maybe not let me see if I can zoom you guys in I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see this down there but yeah it's although it's a ramp they're getting up a car so anyways, it's, it's really bad down there. I hope everybody's okay. We already called uh, our son, and this ambulance already took somebody up the road to the hospital. They're already back. But yeah, we already called our son. He's over in Youngstown on a bike path, so no big deal there. And uh, Heidi's mom's fine. Everybody's fine that we know. But, oh, wow. I don't know if you guys can see that car. Man, this is going to be really tough. Let me see if I can zoom you in. I'm doing this on the phone, so sorry if it's shaky. Yeah, that is bad. Wow. Like I said, hope everybody's okay. That's that's not good. All right, back to our house. And we uh, pressure washed the front of the house. At least I got part of the job done. But ooh, look at the garage doors. There is no doubt we're going to be able to tell when those doors are open. <laughs> okay, so you guys seen we got some of the work done at the house. We need to do more, don't we? That just like opened up a whole can of worms. <laughs> it did. We need to make a list. Yeah, we we have so many repairs that need to be done on the house. and There's little things. Yeah, but the, the, like it's those doors, we haven't done. Right. Those have been needing to be done since we moved in. Pretty much. And we just let it go. So uh, we shot some video the other day, but the, there was a lot of audio noise going on around us. So um, we wanted to touch base on what we said on that little clip that you guys won't be able to see. And we're going to talk about the trip that we're going to go on too, uh, which our patrons know about already. But uh, that's it. Nobody else, as far as I know. Did I mention it to anybody else? You just said that we were going somewhere. Yeah, we just went some, going somewhere. Well, let's just tell you. <laughs> Where are we going to? Going to Hershey, PA, to the 2019 RV show. Uh, we're going to meet up with a couple people. We're yep. going to be there for its entirety. Right, right. Oh, uh, no. We won't be there Saturday. Well, we're, we're still there Saturday. We're st still there Saturday, not necessarily at the show. Yeah, we, yeah, we may not go to the show that day. It's, it's hard to say. Right. It depends on how much we get covered. Um, if yeah, we don't have to be in a hurry. That's... Yeah, yeah, that's why we planned it that way. Uh, but yeah, we had an invite from Red Jaguar 100 in the comments. If you guys ever see Red Jaguar 100, that's Herbie. And uh, yeah, he asked, he said, you coming out to the show? We're going to have a little get together. And i like, yeah, sure, why not? Um, I really feel bad because uh, the Wagners and the Shrags have had get togethers now. And, and both times, Heidi's working. Um, and it, it's this one that they just had at Salt Fork that's in between, you know, or they're having still going on. It's, oh, it, it's in between Atwood. our vacations. It's Atwood. Or Atwood. Sorry, Atwood. I knew it was south of us. That's all I can remember. Well, with my scheduling now is two weeks out instead of one. So it's too, it's too difficult to tell somebody else that they got to work something else. Right, right. And, I mean, I do that enough for them. 
<laughs> right. But it's not like I would. I'm working most weekends, so at least Friday and Saturday. So it's kind of hard for me to get away. We yeah we we want to. I mean, we'd love to just you know drop in the hat and go. But I mean, we just got back from Myrtle Beach. We had a bunch of stuff that we needed to do. Uh, we have things that we're trying to prepare to do so we can make sure that we get... Let's talk about that trip to Myrtle Beach. Um, by the way, again, this is something that we're going to continue to try. Um, we're shooting on the Note 10 Plus. I think we might be migrating to this phone a little bit more uh, for for our camera. Um, because I have it on me all the time. So, anyways, the trip that we just came off of Myrtle Beach, we had a great time. But, boy, was it an eye-opener. Uh, like I said, all during those videos, I you know I missed having the RV and living out of the suitcase. suitcase. Yeah, I mean we didn't have to live out of the suitcase, but <laughs> the reason I didn't want to live out of the suitcase is the whole reason that we had to go back after we got down the road. And Michael says, "Where's my wallet?" Because <laughs> he left it in the nightstand. I didn't put any of my stuff away because I didn't want to forget any of it. We didn't have, the only thing I utilized like I would a normal room was that nightstand. I kept my wallet in there. And the only thing that I forgot to bring was the wallet. We were getting fuel at the gas station, and I'm like, where's my wallet? <laughs> so anyways, um, the the whole, like she said, living out of the suitcase part, that, that kind of sucks. And now we're in a weird situation because we took a lot of stuff out of the RV to go on the, that trip. And we took a lot of stuff out of the house to go on that trip. And now we got to figure out what to put back in the RV, what to, you know, what. We're getting better, though, because uh, it's mostly clothes that we took out this time. I don't want to get good at that. Though. Well, no, I'm just yeah, saying that we're, we could go full time with what's in here now. Except for clothes. Except for clothes. Yeah. I mean, we don't have. Right. Anything that I switch back and forth. I mean, heck, I bought another coffee pot because of that. Right. So, you know, just other than toiletries and clothes, we could take off and not look back. Yeah. Minus tools. Yeah. <laughs> his, he has to have his sockets and Yeah, I have to have tools. And... <laughs> I have to have my tools. There's no doubt about that. The, um, the, the cost of the hotel, like uh. I said... One night, $148, and it was one of the cheaper hotels, uh, and we had to, we actually had to go out of our way about another 10 miles to get to that. If not, it had been $180. You know, that's three nights at a $50 a night hotel, I mean, or yeah. a $50 a night resort right. or a campground or something. So, that, it just sucked. And having the, you know, it just couldn't pull over anywhere, and I, I don't know, it just felt real weird to us. Um, the... Uh, trip that we're going to go on it's going to be really the first time that we get to take the truck on any kind of a distance because a lot of people have asked about gas mileage and i don't know it's quite honestly i just don't know and this unfortunately the path that we're going to take there's a lot of hills um there's a decent amount of hills and uh, it's it's going to affect the gas mileage but we'll, we'll see we'll see what it you know what How it does far is it? Well, about 300 miles i think one way Speaking of mileage and that, that's something else. Um, our son, you know, a, about two years ago, for you guys have been following us for a while, um, I signed up, um, my son and I, to go to the sugar beet harvest. And we got hired in, but we had some family obligations that came up at the last minute, some family business, and we didn't know how it was all going to pan out. And we were teetering. Uh, there looked like that we could make it, then it didn't look like we could make it, then it looked like we could make it. Uh, ended up we couldn't and one of the things that we wanted to work on is getting his van equipped with running water uh contained water you know a place to actually a holding tank even though it's small it's a holding tank um a refrigerator a freezer uh, a cooktop a furnace electric furnace and a propane furnace uh, of course a smoke detector in there um blankets bedding uh, a fan battery power, uh, make it to where you can pull a cord out and plug into electric, all that stuff. And we did that. We we got it to where that van is really a camper van. Now, of course, we could step it up even more, but 
on the most basic level, it's a camper van. And it's because of the sugar beet harvest. Whenever we got hired, uh, I asked them, hey, can my son, what I wanted to do is kind of bring him along. You know, I was going to go out there, tear, pull in our old camper. And uh, Heidi, of course, was going to stay at home and work. And I was going to go out there and work the sugar beet harvest. And I was going to bring him along and have him just, you know, so so I could, if there was any problems with his van back then, because back then it was bare bones. I mean, there was not, a couch, or I'm sorry, a, a bed, bed in there. That was and that's pretty much, I think we got maybe a refrigerator freezer, but that's about it, a, a little furnace. And I had asked him, hey, is it okay if he stays on my lot and instead of my truck being there I'll park my truck in an overflow spot he can park his van he can stay in his van and they were very adamant about no he can't do that he needs to stay in the RV well that was the old RV there was a lot of room in there and he wanted to stay in his van he wanted to try it out even though it wasn't even built really not to the extent it is now and uh, she said if he is staying in that van and they you know stop by and check it out and it's not a fully equipped camper van, you know, your guy's going to get kicked out of the campground. So that's one of the reasons we work so hard to get that van in the shape that it is as far as being basically a camper van. And they asked, uh, he signed up for the sugar beet harvest for this year. And immediately they asked, what do you have? And he said, a van, because he doesn't know any better. And I, they said, oh, wait a minute, a van? Do you have, you know, are you sleeping in it? And he's like, no, it's got a lot of stuff in there. And at that point, I told him, I said, hey, you need to either call them or email them and tell them it's a camper van. And uh, whenever he did, they said, could you send us some photos? And he sent all kinds of photos. And then they said, could you send us, um, you know, as far as cooking, preparing food? Do you should? And he took some more pictures of his cooktop and all that stuff. And they said, fine, great. And they're going to make sure that they get him close to a bathhouse, shower house, because, of course, he's going to utilize that. And uh, he's also, it's about 20 miles one way for him to get to work. And they said, don't worry. You know, they usually, everybody kind of carpools there. Um, he'll just have to meet up and, you know, they'll, they'll try to arrange that for him as much as possible. But he can drive his van. I mean, it's it'd be nice just for him to leave it set up, though, right. uh, so he don't have to go anywhere. So that's what he's doing. Uh, that's going to be fun on his part. I mean, he's kind of excited about it. Mm -hmm. But I kind of kind of wish that you know we were doing that. <laughs> they have some fa you know fast cash come in to doing that. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of everything that we've been up to. Um, you have anything else? No, oh, we were just talking about winter storage and the RV oh, staying home. Yeah, she. It's that's a subject that I. Once we get done with this, this camping trip, do I buy a cover for the RV? You know, do do I pay for it to go into storage to where I might be able to take it on a trip on a nice day? The last thing I want to do, you guys that are from this part of the country, that they put salt in the roads, you know this. You know this. Every year that you expose your truck to another harsh winter or to your vehicle, it just attacks it. That just... That much faster and I really don't want to drive this truck this winter so kidding around I've said it a thousand times I told Heidi you know I know exactly how to make sure the truck and the RV both get taken care of for this winter and that's uh, park the RV in Florida and uh, park the truck next to it in Florida and of course you know I'm gonna to have to keep an eye on those things so I gotta park my butt down there in Florida and uh, stay down there for the winter. Um, it'd be nice. I actually mentioned to Heidi. I said, why don't you quit your job? We'll go down and stay in, until maybe April. And then come back up here and you can get another job. You know? And just work it. We'll have to talk about that off camera. <laughs> maybe I can convince her. You're going to quit your job. <laughs> You're going to quit your job. <laughs> but that's uh, that's what we're doing. That's kind of what this little spiel's about. Um, I think that I'll end up posting there. Uh, probably, it's going to be probably Monday when you see this. But we we got some, like I said, we got some work done. Heidi, like you've seen, 
She did a lot of the string trimming. The only string trimming I did, I don't like her being out on the road, so I go on the other side of the guardrail, and I string trim in between traffic and our guardrail. Oh, I don't like that part. Yeah, but other than that, she did all the string trimming. and uh, uh, You don't that, like to get dirty. Yeah, oh, I had shorts on today, and I really didn't want to go. I didn't want to put long pants. You know, that's a sign of defeat. <laughs> when I have to start wearing socks, when I have to wear a jacket, and when I'm wearing long pants again, uh, that is official. And I'm telling you, it's getting cold enough. It's uh, nice in here. It, it was it, chilly on the porch. It, the low, uh, well, this morning. That was chilly. It was 48. Yeah. So we're in the 40s again. Um, even tonight, the low is going to be in the 50s. It's good sleeping weather. It's good working weather. You know, you can get a lot of stuff done. Um, and you can enjoy yourself outdoors as long as the sun's shining real hard. But I'm definitely uh, an 80s type person, 80s. And even the lows, I don't like them to be out of the 60s. So <laughs> so I think that's going to cover everything. Got anything else? I don't. We went over everything that I had written down. Yep. Yeah. You look like you got it all typed in there pretty oh. good. Again, uh, I need I need as much feedback as possible, guys. Uh, um the, uh, the the camera, the, the phone. Uh, right now we're using the onboard mic and we're going to, uh, I, I, I got a dongle today that, of course I have a dongle. I have kids. How do you think I got kids if I didn't have a dongle? <laughs> I have a USB-C to um, a 3.5 jack for external mics. So um, that's basically what we were uh, concerned with as far as audio wise shooting with the phone but yeah let me know um not not you know need a better picture wider whatever but we're done so you know how to close this out as always hope to see you out there bye bye